This is a shop I had built about three years ago. I had the shop built and concrete poured. And after I had all that done, I did electrical work. Go inside and take a look around. As I was saying outside, once I had the shop built, I had the main panel put in. I paid to have that done and then I did all the electrical work from there by myself. Got a 220 in the front for the welder and a 220 outlet on the center of the wall in the back for the welder. So I can use, you know, not a full length extension cord to get around the shop. Put the lift in right after I had the shop built. When we poured the slab, we poured some areas right in this general area that are about six inches thick. All you need for a lift is four inches of concrete. Like I said, it's got about five and a half, six, about a three foot square right here, so that's plenty. I like having the lift. It definitely saves wear and tear on the old body when you're working on a car. You don't have to be keep getting down on the floor and back up. I built two of these workbenches and storage areas. That one over there is mostly covered with parts from that project and other assorted Toyota parts. This one over here is the one I used to work off of for the most part. Um, made a great platform for putting air conditioning on top of. I had a friend of mine give me a lot of help getting this AC put in. Step outside and take a look at where I have my compressor shed and I put my AC unit on top of the compressor shed. The uh, heat is from a wood stove. Uh, the only thing I don't like about having a wood stove for heat is it just takes up space. But I didn't do a heat pump when I did the AC so. This is another little tool storage area. I made this workbench and storage area a little bit different than the one over there so I'd have a place to put taller tools, hang stuff up. Worked out pretty good. This is the build table that was in the garage up front and moved it back to here after we, after we built the garage. It's my ongoing street rail project. It's been about three and a half, four years working on this. But for the amount of time I work on it, it's coming along pretty good. This is the uh, war room, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> it's where I do all my planning. I built this steel rack so I can store some tires on top of it, get all my steel up off the floor, keep it organized, so to speak. Powder coating oven. Most of the tools and stuff stored along this wall are all going to go over there where that build table is sitting after I put in a four post lift. If you look down at the floor right there beside you, you'll see some marks. Those are all marks for where the four post lift's gonna sit at. Once I do that, that area will be freed up. All these tools that are over here will be over in that area. It'll make it look a lot less cluttered. And of course, a shop has to have neat little toys like aircraft propellers, traffic lights, even got posters from an auto parts store on the ceiling. Oh yeah, two ceiling fans that you just saw over there. Those help a lot in the summertime. Keep air breeze, keep a little breeze moving around. Well, I think that's about it. If anybody's interested in more stuff on how I built this shop and stuff, I can put a few of those videos up um, if I can find them. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is my shop.